Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about hidden iPhone tricks that you probably didn't know existed. So in this video, I will show you guys 16 of those that I think are super cool and most of them actually very, very useful and most of them will be new to iOS 16. So if you have a device on iOS 16, you will most likely love these new hidden tricks and features. Now, before we get started, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel yet. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more, please make sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel a lot. And we're starting things off with the photos app. Now, when you go to your photos and you have a photo that you took that of course needs to be cropped and maybe aligned on the correct way, you can actually do that automatically on iOS. So you just have the edit button have the crop button right there you can see it says auto right here so if you tap on auto you can see it will automatically crop and also readjust your photo here's a feature that i really love now this used to be before on ios but it actually was removed on ios 15 and now it's back so you know that on ios when you want to move the cursor you can simply tap the space bar right here and move it anywhere you want but let's say you have a text and you want to add an emoji there. What you can do now is tap the emoji button. Let's say I want to add an emoji right there somewhere on the text. What I can do now is tap here when on the blank space and hold it and actually move the cursor there and just add the emoji anywhere I need. Here's another really cool trick. You can actually share any part of the text you want simply go ahead and select a sentence or a word anything you want to share and then from here just swipe like this you have a share button and now you can actually share that on a message maybe on an email or just save it on on a new note directly from here so you will have all the different apps that of course it supports you can go ahead and share that text from the share sheet on the calculator app, when you type a number wrong, you can just swipe to delete it. Well, you can do the same on the phone app as well. So if I just add a number here, I can swipe any way I want here and it will delete the last number. Unfortunately, it doesn't allow you to actually just place the cursor anywhere you want and just edit the number, but you can simply swipe like this to delete any number you want. Now, here's something you might not know that you can do on the camera app. Did you know that you can actually customize your camera? So just swipe like this and you will have this button that will allow you to adjust the colors of the camera. So you will have vibrant, rich contrast. This is a standard one. And then we have warm and you have cool as well. So this will readjust basically the colors of your camera. And once you choose one of those, it will stay like that. So of course the camera will work with that effect until you change it. If you're new to iOS 16, you probably have seen a new folder on the messages app. It says recently deleted messages. Now, if you have messages that you actually want to delete from your device, you have to remember that they will actually stay on your device for another 30 days. If you want to completely delete a message, you need to go to the recently deleted messages right here, tap on it and make sure you delete it from here as well. Otherwise it will be there for another 30 days. If you have the new iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max, you probably know that it has a 48 megapixels camera. Well, it actually doesn't shoot on 48 megapixels. Just go to the, one of your photos that you have taken recently, just like this one, swipe up and you can see it says main camera, 12 megapixels. Well, there is a way to actually turn on the 48 megapixels camera, but that is hidden right here under settings. So go to your settings, go under camera and go to format. Now you will need to turn on Apple Pro Raw and then go to Pro Raw resolution and make sure you switch to 48 megapixels this way now you can shoot 48 megapixels photo you can see right here we have it let's turn on raw shoot the photo and now if we go to that photo and swipe up you will notice right here under main camera it will say now 48 megapixels this is how you shoot a 48 megapixels photo with your camera on the iphone pro but now of course that will be a huge size it's actually 73 megabytes just for one photo now here's a feature that I really love on iOS 16, even though I cannot actually show it right now because it's a notification that you can clear and it actually works really well. You probably know that on iOS, when you get an update, you will get 
that number one badger right here on the settings and it will stay right there and it's pretty annoying. Well, with iOS 16, you will actually get a notification to update your device. Of course, just like a normal notification that you get on your device. Now, once you go ahead and just clear that notification, it will also clear the badge from the settings app and that's really really great i did that i have cleared it it removes the badge and it's a great add to ios now here's another great feature for devices with the dynamic island right there once your device drops to 20 percent it will show you a pop-up you can actually 3d touch right there and it allows us to turn on low power mode directly from the dynamic island now with the dynamic island you don't actually get the pop-up on the screen you get it right there on the dynamic island and once you 3d touch on it it will allow you to actually turn on low power mode the screen recording also works really great with the dynamic island so you start a screen recording right here and it will show it on the dynamic island so you can see right there now it's recording now if i touch right there it will show me the recording i can tap to stop you can see it shows a thumbnail and I can tap on that thumbnail and from here I can view or delete that screen recording really really well actually the dynamic island has great potential and in the future we will, in the future we will see some really great things with the dynamic island now here's what you can do with the dynamic island if you're playing something or you have something in the background and it's showing on the dynamic island maybe you want to hide it now the way to remove something from the dynamic island on ios simply swipe like this and you can see it's gone now here's something you probably didn't know you can do on ios 16. you can have animated widgets actually set any gif file you want as a widget on the lock screen of your device and you can see how cool that is let me just unlock the device and show you guys how to do that so what you will need is screen kit which is a free app you can download from the app store just search for screen kit open the app and head on to the widgets section go to lock screen you will have here the bigger widgets and the smaller ones let's say gif on those you just tap there and it will show you right here this screen you tap here and you can choose from their collection which is this one right here let me just turn off the dark mode here so you can choose from this collection or you can actually go to giphy and choose any gif and search for any gif you want once you find the one that you like you can just simply tap here to select the frames you want to use if you want to use all of them just select all of them tap the dumb button and now you're good to go tap save and just head on to the lock screen and add them to your lock screen Another really cool thing that you probably didn't know you can do on iOS 16 is that you can reboot your device using Siri. You don't have to search for the reboot button on the settings app. Just ask Siri to reboot your device. Now, if you want to go to the edit mode quickly on the home screen of your device, let's say we want to remove or, or actually just move this widget. If I tap and hold it here, it will show the 3D touch menu, but just keep holding for another second and it will go to the edit mode and of course you have it now attached to your finger and you can move it anywhere you want now for the last two tricks we're moving into note settings now these are older you can find these on ios 15 as well but if you go to the note settings you can choose here how you want to sort checked items now checked items are the lists that you create on the notes app which you can check of course once you have finished something but if you choose to do that manually it will of course just be a mess so just go here and switch to automatically so it will automatically remove the checked ones at the bottom of the list and did you know that you can also choose how you want to sort your notes on the notes app head on to the notes settings on the settings app go to sort notes by you can choose date edited date created and title and all the notes that you have will be readjusted so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the tricks and the video leave a like if you did subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one